This video contains spoilers for the My Hero Academia manga. Please, if you didn't read the manga, go read it. Or if you don't read the manga and watch only the anime, well, this is not for you then. So sorry. The second user is Bakugo's great grandfather. Okay, I know I got you all with this, but let me explain. Here's the thing, this theory came to my mind very fast because many people are theorizing that the second user has some kind of a relationship with Bakugo. Either it's time travel or being a relative. So hear me out, right? Many people say that the second user is either Bakugo or is an ancestor of Bakugo. But what if the second user is Bakugo's great grandfather? Yeah, I know it's a lot to take in, but let me explain. My theory, like I said, just came very fast to my mind, so I don't have too much detail to explain, but I will explain. In one night, I was chilling, and uh, a Twitter user named Nelly's Art World messaged me, say, Hey, Lie, have you seen this, this one yet? And I said, No, not yet. It's a video talking about Bakugo's secret connection with the second user, and has a lot of theories about it. So I checked the video. And they asked me, so what do you think so far? It, re it was really nice, the theories though. Here's a screenshot for anyone to want to read because I am kind of lazy to read from myself. And if you see some errors, well, uh, I was messaging this at 3 in the morning, so yeah, I was about to go to sleep. And in this, I was talking about what if the second user is Bakugo's grandfather? It makes sense in my head that the second user of One For All could be Bakugo's great-grandfather. And let me explain why. First of all, he's a second user, right? Right. It's been many years. The second user, the third user, and the first user, of course they die in a very young age, probably 30s, 40s, I don't know. It's around there. At that time, All Might was not even born, and probably All Might's uh, master was like probably a young girl. And let's look at the, their physical looks. Of course, the second user and Bakugo look very alike because of the hair, the eyes, and even the attitude, even though the second user is more calm, but Bakugo can be calm too. Don't judge a book by its cover, by the way. And also, we don't know what kind of power the second user has. And it's kind of concerning because I really want to know what kind of power it is. Because it says it's only going to be the last resort and it's super powerful. Also, the second user was the first one to start the war against All for One. Which it's been a long, long time that war already started. And when he started was after he rescued the first user. And you know what's funny about this panel right here, when the second user is actually rescued the first user? There is something written like, did you reach out to me? It's the same thing before Bakugo died, asked, can I reach out to you? Or can I, you know, get in your level, Izuku? Which is very interesting, these parallels. Back to the physical look, the second user doesn't look like... A normal hero in terms of clothing he looks like more a soldier his clothes actually remind me of the hidden village ninjas especially the jonings one like kakashi like it's it's like a, a, a elite troop uh clothes you know it's very very intriguing probably the second user was actually a, a soldier but while i was having this conversation with nelly's I was talking about the clothing, even the godlets. If you go check Endeavor's future vision, you can see Bakugo, Deku, Todoroki, uh, Ida, uh, um, uh, Kirishima. But notice very well Bakugo's uh, outfit. He has the same kind of godlets as a second user, right? He has more troop. His clothing is all based on troop and explosion, which makes me think that they really have a really strong connection. Not to mention, after Bakugo died, uh, Hedgehog came out of nowhere and just 
decided, you know what, I'm gonna rescue this child because I, I don't want the future generation to die like this. And check Bakugo's outfit again. He has the, the little things that Hedgehog has, the little strings, you know, on the hair. And not to mention that Bakugo on the second movie, he had the one for all for a short time of period. Imagine Bakugo meeting the one for all users, but this time in the manga. Imagine Deku appearing on the war zone where they at. Deku decided to let Bakugo borrow the one for all once again and probably this time, this time, they could definitely see the one for all users together. Bakugo and Deku. And Bakugo could see his grandpa. How cool that could sound. Like meeting your grandpa in someone's mind? With the power it in? Dude, that's awesome! But yeah, once again, my theory is not very constructive. I just think like about the clothing, the past, and uh, the attitude, and they look alike. I really appreciate Nelly's art world to talk to me about theories. And we're actually praying so hard for Bakugo not to be dead. That boy made me cry for real when I saw th this picture. I was very, very devastating. I'm a Bakugo fan because I, I cosplay as him. I do his voice when I'm playing a game or even a cosplay. I like to mess with Deku's and Kirishima's, you know, it's, it's fun to be Bakugo. But once I saw he was about to get revived, I was like, yes, my boy's coming back, finally. But I still don't know why that kind of a revival to be honest why did you kill him just to revive him like that and why headshot i don't get it i get it he's he's a nice character don't get me wrong we didn't get any backstory of uh, of that man i feel kind of bad you know he doesn't have any backstory i get it you want to revive your character so much but not like this bro everybody could be like oh deku is gonna be on the scene and he's gonna be uh berserk no unfortunately not because I guess we already had one time where Deku got berserk and almost destroyed everything around him. Especially uh, Shigaraki. Which is understandable that he did that. But revive him like this with a nowhere character just appearing out of nowhere and be like, I'm gonna be this kid's heart. No, you can't just do that. Many people now are joking around about the My Hero Academia being uh, My Hero Disney Academia. And I still don't get the joke though. I still don't get it. But anyways, what do you guys think about my theory? It's not very constructive. I apologize for that. that this theory just came very fast. And I'm very intrigued about the second user and the relationship with him, with Baku. Well, probably he doesn't have any relationship and uh, many people are just uh, assuming things. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a theory. And we're making theories about anime, so uh, it is what it is. Well, and I see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Most have one thing in common. Their bodies move before they had a chance to think. Almost on their own. And today... That's what happened to you, you.